Hello YouTube, Mr. Gibson Guy here, and it's very exciting today. Today I picked up my 2022 Ford Maverick XL. Yes, here it is. And today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the experience, and uh, I'll have to do another video on this that is pulling my boat with the Maverick but I have to finish off the trailer hitch part on that. So, I ordered my Ford Maverick uh, at, the end, at the end of January. And uh, at the end of January, they had the cutoff date for ordering the uh, EcoBoost Mavericks. <clears throat> Back in December, they had had the cutoff date on the uh, uh, hybrids, but I wasn't interested in a hybrid. I wanted to get the regular EcoBoost. I think it's the best best deal in the Maverick, as far as I'm concerned. It should be better for towing too. Uh, and I want to wander on here. The uh, everything went according to what Ford had told me. I was really pleased with the overall at uh, Jenkins Jenkins Ford with all their service and everything. Uh, they told me how long it was going to take till I could get the truck built, and they give me like the most positive, and then or it could be worse or worse or worse, and it ended up being the most positive as far as it didn't take very long to get it done. It was uh, about three and a half months, but they built it right on time when Ford said they would. Then. They ship it off, and now the shipping, right, that's going to be different for different places, but to take the Maverick from Mexico to Central Florida was a full five weeks, which is what they had said. And uh, they said between Monday and Saturday, and I got it on Friday, and arrived Thursday night. Um, and then the other part that uh, I was very concerned with was what was going to be the price on the Maverick. Um, because ever since back in January, I've been watching this and the horror stories there of dealerships marking, marking up the price $5,000 and $10,000 and people getting a $50,000 Ford Maverick. It's a $20,000 truck. Um, there's some real scary things that were going on. And so I was kind of trepidatious about the whole thing. All right, I, I think I'm going to get it because I have to wait a long time and you don't want to say, no, forget it and just walk out because they love that because then they'll turn around and sell it for somebody for lower, you know, a lot higher price. Uh, but when I did the initial order, they printed up a sheet with all the costs on it and because it didn't include the sales tax, didn't include the, the uh, tag and registration fees. Um, didn't include their dealer fee, which they said in $9.99. That was an expensive dealer fee, but it turned out to be pretty much worth it, I think. Because um, I had a good experience there, and they were help, very helpful with everything on it. Um, but when I went in to pick it up this morning, uh, we finally got to where we're going to sit down, and he's going to give you the numbers, and he hands it to me. And, uh, well, the original papers that I had, we had it with, without the tax added on, we had the truck at 22600 So he's going to hand me the thing with everything on it, 29000 That's a long ways from twenty two, and I was like, okay, let's talk about this, let's go down the list. And it turned out there was about $3,000 of bonuses that they threw in there for themselves and I said I don't want any of those and I pulled out my original sheet and I said look the original price you gave me here was 22 now you're 25 on this and I the other stuff so okay well let me go talk to the manager and I went back and talked to the manager and he's the one that gave me this and I told him I wanted the price without any warranties or any nitrogen in the tires or all those profit things that add up to three thousand bucks for nothing and uh, 
He came back and says, yeah, we scratched it all off. So, when they, ultimately, when they threw in the sales tax and the tag fees and their $9.99 dealer fee, I ended up, I was hoping, hoping, as I had figured it, that I could get out for $26,500. It ended up being $25,600. So, that was $900 less than I thought was going to be the best possible thing that I could do. And they were very nice about it. Then on top of that, after we finished, they let me do a Google review, and then they gave me a little spinner they have, and I won uh, a free tank of gas. And they filled up the gas tank and bought the car. And at gas prices these days, that could be something that's uh, kind of a lot. So I got a full tank of gas, and this thing gets great gas mileage. And when I get done, I'll go back to the dealership and get another free tank of gas. So I figure I can get about a thousand miles without buying gas. Huh. That should be good. All right, well, I'm going to have to do a video on loading motorcycles into the Maverick. Let's see how it works, what it will hold, what it won't hold, how that works. Um, a towing the boat video. This is, a, I don't have the 4,000 pound towing package. I did not want that. And it's not all-wheel drive, it's a basic XL, and uh, I have to get the last part of the trailer hitch put on there, but it came with a regular 2,000-pound hookup that was $100 extra. And that and the EcoBoost was all I got on this. So, it's a beautiful truck and really rides wonderfully, and I am totally thrilled with it. And I just wanted to get a video out telling you what happened with the price. You don't have to pay five or $10,000 premium to get a Maverick, but you got to go through the steps, but you can accomplish it. All right, I will be back with you next time. Please like and share the video, and that's it for today. Mr. Gibson Guy out.